What is up guys? Pup T from Life, Liberty, and a Homestead. And on this video, I'm going to do a review on Heart Tools from Walmart. Woo! Alright guys, so back in my workshop. Love it out here. I'm in the process of leveling out the workshop. So when I walk around, I'm not way down low I'll be all on even ground stuff like that but besides all that fun that I'm having I want to do a review on the tool set that I got from heart and then some additional things that I ended up getting and what I feel the value of these items are and We'll just go from there. Let's see. So let's see where it goes, baby. Let's see. Woo! All right. So I bought a four-piece heart tool set. The price of the tool set at the time of purchase was $179. The very next day, I went to Lowe's and seen a Craftsman set that was very similar for a hundred and seventy eight dollars so saving a dollar craftsman versus heart I don't know you could say you know craftsman's a great company I mean they were at one point in time all American made stuff like that but we all know with changes in time changes come from businesses so therefore you know products get made elsewhere even if the company headquarters is here in America so what I got in the four item and I guess you can kind of look at it as a six item depending first item that I got out of the box is this heart drill all right now it has different numbers as far as your torque on a particular item that you're going to be drilling screwing in so forth right so when it goes to what this offers it's similar in comparison to this Makita that we have the only difference between the two is the Makita has three settings so it has drill screw hammer drill so when it comes to just these two right here you know having the the hammer drill whatever function that's called or whatnot you know that is a bonus to certain drills but being that I have a drill that does does that anyway it's not a knock for the heart drill now the one thing that I really wish heart would have done and that was to put a um, clasp so that I could hook this on to a belt you know carry it where I'm going because now I can make a, a clasp to put on there right but now I'm putting 550 cord on there with a clasp you know to me that's that's a little thing that it should have already been on there that's just me if you feel the same way let me know down below next I got an impact driver it is nice it has power baby like you know for me heart is a is a company i don't i don't know anything about it it's out of south carolina the company itself where they manufacture i don't know i didn't do any research prior to this to find out where they manufacture you know whether the stuff is in america or made in china or shipped over here but i will tell you this thing yeah made in china says on there so this impact, I mean, it is it is beefy, 
and it gets at it. Again, no belt clip. Come on, heart. That's a that's a penny item you could put on there. All right, next I got a sawzall, and I will tell you again, if you've been watching my videos, like this thing gets after it too. It's got similar power, I would say, to any other battery operated sawzall out there. You can buy different blade sets to it all up to you or you can even get different blades like i bought this bosch set works great inside here we have i think these are milwaukee yeah milwaukee milwaukee saws all blades in there you know it gets after it I, I am very impressed with the the power and even the sustainability to it so so don't get me wrong you know the the battery itself is a 20 volt lithium ion battery which is great it's got 1.5 amp hours okay when you when you're getting after something with the sawzall and, and another item i'll show you here in a minute it doesn't last forever of course right i would say for doing minor stuff that you really just have to make a few cuts here a few cuts there and you're switching the battery between items i mean i can't complain about it i really can't now the fourth item that you get is a flashlight so I don't know why they put a flashlight inside the set. Now, there's many functions to a flashlight, right? I, I get it. You can see in the dark if you're working and it's somewhere where you need a smaller flashlight. You know, you can have that. But it takes two batteries if you were to use, like, your drill and your flashlight. It takes two batteries. But I don't know why they put the battery, or excuse me, I don't know why they put the flashlight in there. It's just one of those, it's like a filler piece. I'm not big into the filler type stuff. You know, give me something that I'm going to use or that's functional to kind of what I'm doing, I guess. But, I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Like, will I use it? Yeah, there's a possibility I will. Don't get me wrong. I generally always have a little flashlight on me, so if I'm doing something, you know, I can put my flashlight on my hat. I got flashlights in my truck. All kinds of stuff, right? So having that as an additional, as like your fourth piece to this set, it's kind of cheesy to me. I, you know, you could have left the, the flashlight off and put clips on the drills. And I mean, I, I, I would have bought the, the product, right? That's just, that's, that's my take on it. So for like the fifth and sixth item that you get inside there is you get a, a battery charger. And then the set also comes with two batteries, which the batteries alone at Wally World are like $55 a piece. So getting two in the box plus all the other stuff when you edit it all together individually you do save money when you buy the complete four piece six piece set however you want to look at it so now will i be buying more batteries in the future probably just because you know the the one and a half amp hours as much work as as i've been doing and I'm, I'm going to get into i'm going to need you know enough batteries to sustain me basically a day so you know i i would say four batteries could probably sustain me really well but that's another you know 108 bucks just for two batteries now they have different little sets of course where you can buy another charger and a battery and so on and so forth uh again that's something i'll probably have to invest in is another charger along with a battery that way i can charge two batteries at a time now the charge time on them isn't very long it i i haven't timed it but i can literally go inside plug the battery in and then maybe in an hour hour and a half the battery's fully charged it could be even quicker but 
I, I would guess that I check about the hour, hour and a half mark, and generally it's charged. So what else did I get that's hard? All right, so out here in the pole barn, I don't have electricity yet. So everything out here has to be battery operated. If it's not battery operated, you know, then I have to do all the work back at the house and then bring all that stuff back out to the pole barn. So having something, having tools that utilize, you know, batteries is, is just a bonus. So the next item that I purchased outside of the set is this circular saw. Now for battery operated circular saws, I've had two battery operated circular saws now. The first one was from Black & Decker. And I will tell you the one that I had from Black & Decker was worthless. I watched reviews on YouTube. Everyone said it was, was junk. I mean, I didn't listen to them back then, right? And I was like, I'll just, I'll give it a shot. Maybe they're doing something wrong. Nah, it's, it's just junk, to tell you the truth. Uh, I still have it to this day. Why? I don't know. But it's worthless. Now this heart, plug a battery in and, and get on it. Like I've made uh, 45 degree cuts, 30 degree cuts with it, straight cuts with it, you know. And I haven't had it to where it ran out of juice for me while I was using it. That's not to say that won't happen, right? But when I'm making just, you know, simple cuts out here in the pole barn, you know, I'm not putting a lot of work onto the circular saw itself. But for a battery operated circular saw versus what I've used in the past, yeah, it is good to go. So the last item that I'll consider a tool item is I got this set so it's got a bunch of drill bits in there it's got Phillips it's got star bits I mean it it's got a little bit of everything it it's a fairly nice set I don't remember what I paid for it I want to say it might have been around 20 bucks it really wasn't that bad now within the first two days trying to open this this clip broke off this one didn't i mean is that a knock on <laughs> on the the set itself absolutely not you know i could have been prying it too hard you know there's several different reasons why that that possibly could have happened but you know that set I, i've been using it uh with with all the tools um that we have that you know i purchased for really just out here in the pole barn and it'll serve throughout the house and whatever else on my truck but for the for what it cost and like i said that craftsman set it was on sale and it was 178 bucks or whatever a dollar cheaper than what i paid did i get a better deal didn't i get a better deal I would say I got a great deal. One, this stuff wasn't on sale, so it was at regular price at $179 or whatever. And it came with all the, you know, the, the drill, the impact, the sawzall, the flashlight, two batteries and a charger for 178 bucks. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. Would I buy Hart again? Absolutely. So far, I haven't had any issues, so you know i've been using i've only been using this stuff for a little over probably two weeks now but everything's got tons of power to it you know if i need something to cut it cuts if i need something to drill it drills if i gotta screw stuff in you know i haven't had any issues with it um it's 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 a good set like i said the company's out of south carolina now all the pieces are manufactured in china i looked at them and they're all manufactured in china and i've alluded to that in a video before this one and that is that you know these heart tools might have a certain casing put on them right so heart white blue and black now you might get the exact same inner components with a different color shell right for manufactured for a different company but they could be manufactured the same same plant it, and that happens so I mean let's not fool ourselves right like 
if Craftsman's making stuff in China and DeWald or Milwaukee or Makita or anybody else, if they're making stuff in China, chances are it's manufactured at the same facility. Why? Because you save money. The company saves money by doing that, right? If all the parts for, you know, a Makita are similar to the parts of Hart, and all they're doing is putting a different body on them, you know. Both companies are, are saving a little bit of money because they're all being manufactured at the same spot. But I digress from that. The heart tools, they're good. I like them. That's all I can really, uh, about all I got to say about that. But hey guys, I, I hope you've been watching the videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. If you have, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I make new videos. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Give me some wall comments. Y'all look crazy. I love you. We love you. And we'll see you on the next video.